Hey everyone, this is week 29 of pregnancy, your 10 minute core workout. You'll just need a mat, nothing else, and a reminder to subscribe if you haven't to the channel. I would love to have you. Our first move is in a side kneeling position with your hand out. So brace those abdominals, draw in that core, push out of that bottom shoulder. The first move is a leg lift. It then comes forward, it goes back to center and down, almost as if you're drawing a T shape. Up, forward, back, center, down. And we keep going up, forward, back, center, down. So you should feel your bottom hip working as well as your top hip throughout these movements. Brace those abdominals. You can keep a hand on the belly to remind you. But you should also be feeling it in these side abdominal muscles. Up, forward, back, center. If you can only get this high off the ground, then you can do it here as long as you're focusing on the key points, which is braced abdominals, a nice neutral spine position, and not letting that torso move too much. Two more. And one more. You can relieve the pressure on that wrist just for a moment because then we're going to try a different leg lift pattern. You can also come down onto your fist if that is more comfortable. For me, being on my fist is actually a little bit more comfortable. So now that leg is going to lift. You're going to take that top hand overhead, bring the knee in and stretch back out. Once again, we're trying not to let the torso move. It stays still, it's only that leg and that arm moving. Nice and slow, in and then reach. Five, four, three, two, and one, and release. You can just shift those hips a bit from side to side. We're then going to repeat on the other side. So come down onto one hand and one knee push out of that bottom shoulder, brace those abdominals, and we lift into a T. Forward, back, center, and down. Up, forward, back, center, down. So pick your own pace. You don't necessarily have to go or use the same timing as I do as long as you're able to do it in a nice and controlled manner. Up, forward and back. Let's do four more. Three. Two, and one. Quick break if you need to relieve the pressure off of your wrist, shake out those hips, as we now move into our reach with that arm and then drawing that knee in. In and then stretch out. 
in and out. Make sure you're in a nice straight line from the head to the toe. In and out. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Whew. Time to focus on the glutes. A lot more of the glutes really. Lying on your back, if you battle to lie on your back, you can lean your back on the edge of a chair or the edge of a couch so you're elevated. Otherwise, down onto your back. You're going to bring the knees and the feet together as we move into a bridge series. So before we start, I want you to squeeze the knees together so you're pushing in and this is the pressure that we want to maintain as we lift the hips up and down so it's a narrow bridge we're squeezing the thighs together trying not to let them gap as the hips lift up to the ceiling if you really battle to get your thighs together, you can put a roll towel or a ball or a pillow between the knees and squeeze that instead. Lift, keep squeezing those thighs. So this is a good one to help with pelvic stability. The closer we get to labor, the more relaxed our ligaments will become, the more unstable our pelvis, and the better our strength, the more we'll able to deal with that stability. Two, one, quick break. You're now going to Lift up, keep the narrow bridge, but as you get to the top, you're going to open out the knees. Then come back together and down. Up, open, close, down. Abdominals are braced throughout this entire exercise. You're not coming all the way back down to the mat, it's a hover. So you're just a centimeter or two off of that mat. Up, out. Keep it going. We're really going to give the glutes a good burn today. Up. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open out those feet, this is our last exercise. We've now got a wide-legged bridge. Lift the hips up to the ceiling and just pulse here. So small, short pulses as you squeeze those buttock muscles and pulse up towards the ceiling. We are almost there. Fifteen more seconds. Seven. 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. And come back down. Give the knees a little bit of a shake or a drop from side to side. And you can push yourself back into a sitting position. That's it, 10 minute core workout done. If you haven't already, look at some of our other videos that are out for this week. Hit that subscribe button, leave any questions in the comments below, and I will see you next week as we move on to week 30.